Well, that doesn't seem 4D. Oh! That does. Hey guys, GG Reviews here. I'm here again with another review, and today it's actually something very unique. I hope you guys did enjoy that little intro, by the way. Um, so welcome to the review, guys. Today I'm reviewing the Adidas Ultra 4D. So this is a new Adidas kind of 4D Ultra Boost kind of actual unit. Well, not boost it's actually ultra 4d so it's something really unique it has the same prime knit as the first ultra boost so it's a really kind of essentially hyped up sneaker i guess it is alluding to the traditional ultra boost so that's really nice with that upper and we'll get into that very shortly too um for starters this is the actual sizing guide here it's actually a very unique kind of thing because the whole box is this gunmetal black or gunmetal gray um and then it just has this whacked on white sticker so it's kind of funny and it's just like not even centered properly to be honest <laughs> it's just funny like slapped on like that um us 10 um, and then everything else, Ultra 4D just there, and a little picture of the actual shoe itself, which is like a little nice little detailed shot there, and then you have your standard barcode. Um, I was lucky enough to pick this up, so really happy, Adas app pulled in through, pulled in, pulled through for me, so I was very, very happy. This is my first ever pair of um, 4D shoes, so don't know if I'll keep them yet, but they're actually really, really cool. And now let's open up the box. So the box itself is nothing extremely special. It's almost like a kind of Yeezy box and a lot of other boxes that Nike even do as well. It's just your standard slot box, so nothing too special and extravagant with this pair. But once again, it's nicer than your standard open up box from the top, in my opinion. I think it's much nicer like that. I personally don't like, you know, the ones that you lift up that much, to be honest. These are more secure. That's just me personally, though. Um, but here are the shoes. Um, a little bit dusty. These guys are extremely, like, wow. They are amazing. <laughs> I think these look sick. Um, they're very kind of futuristic. I get that really big vibe with the midsole being that 3D print. And the actual print itself actually comes out a little bit from the midsole. So it's kind of um, extruding a little bit more. Um, it's extruding out from the standard midsole, which is nice and smooth. And it has this kind of, you know, techno kind of, once again, futuristic vibe to it. And it's really cool. And you get that futuristic vibe really badly with the actual outsole here the rubber outsole um with this kind of like cross pattern all across it um very interesting traction um i've never seen anything like this it's it looks so nice though like it blends in really nice with the shoe and this just looks sick like that's just awesome <laughs> i don't know how well this will actually like last but it is quite it's decent it's not extremely thick but i don't know how quickly these will wear away as well since they are just little thin panels so once again, it really does just depend. They are just little blocks, so depending on what you walk on and how and how many times you wear these daily or weekly, or whatever, this will all depend on how quickly. That will depend how quickly this actually gets gone. <laughs> how much just fades away. Um, anyways, to the prime knit upper, once again, it does allude to the original Ultra Boost. Um, and it is this nice navy blue, very dark navy blue to a purple kind of color weaved through in this nice knitting. And then you have Ultra 4D on the heel counter here. And this is this nice kind of iridescent purple to a blue kind of shade. On camera, it's showing you a blue, but in person with the light straight on it, it is more of a purple, to be honest with you. Um, but once again, it's going to look different, a little bit different on camera. Um, with the Adidas logo here on the actual cage, it's this gunmetal grey painted here and there three here on the eyelets and then on the stripes it's really nice once again you probably can't see it as well on camera i'll see if any lights can change that that does actually show it much better <laughs> um and maybe that purple one um, still looks blue um but yeah much nicer there you can see it definitely it's a gunmetal gray i honestly think if the heel counter was the same color this pair would look even even better I know it is alluding to the first ever Ultra Boost, um, but once again, if this was a gunmetal gray, that would look amazing. I think that would look sick, because it's just all black pretty much, and these are a mad looking shoe, and it's just so cool. <laughs> um, I went true to size with these, generally all Ultra Boost, I go true to size. Um, Ultra 4D in the insole there, and then you have your standard um, cardboard insole part kind of thing that keeps this intact, which it is right now. Um, and look, it's a very nice slim looking pair of sneakers. I definitely recommend these. Um, you know, are they worth the resell them? The resell is going about, about four, in Australia it's about 450 roughly. Um, I don't know how you can get that in other countries like America and stuff like that. If you get below retail or to steal, I don't know how you'd do that, but that's cool. Um, 
getting it for resale, yeah, it's not much of a big margin on the resale market. So, you know, it's not even that bad paying the extra penny um, if you really, really like these and they and you want them to be your first ever Ultra Boost or Ultra 4D shoes. Um, and they are a great pair to go with, to be honest. These are so versatile. You can wear them pretty much at everything, I would assume. Like, they're just amazing. I'm still contemplating keeping them. Um, for now, I'm just going to hold on to them because I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I honestly think they're really sick and I might potentially keep them over time maybe but for now they're just gonna chill my box until COVID-19 is over <laughs> um, <laughs> and on the lacing as well you do get these little gold kind of clips just a little accent on them which is really nice and it's a gold so adds a little character to it so I think that's really really nice um, add us logo on the tongue here standard to your normal ultra boost and once again it's the same type of prime knit and then you have the sizing tag here and made in Vietnam you can see that there. there you go standard padding as well on the inside pretty much the exact same as a normal ultra boost once again it's just mainly the midsole that changes which is something unique to it once again both pairs same type of thing same ultra 4d in black and in silver as well very very nice pair i honestly think these are ravishing <laughs> i think no they're a sick pair of sneakers and i do highly recommend them so that kind of wraps up my quick unboxing and my opinion and review on these pair right here, the Ultra 4D. I honestly think they're really, really cool pair. I highly recommend them if they're going to be your first ever 3D, or sorry, 4D um, pair of Ultra Boosts or your first ever 4D pair of Adas shoes. I highly recommend them. They look awesome and they look amazing. If I do end up wearing them and keeping them, I will definitely put them on feet for you guys and I'll do that as a separate video so you all can see them on feet. But they're definitely a really, really nice pair. I highly do recommend. And that does wrap up my quick review and unboxing, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this quick review and unboxing. And please do stay tuned for more. Subscribe for more. Comment down below what your thoughts on this. I want to see what everyone's opinion is, to be honest. Um, what do you guys think of this Ultra 4D pair? Um, what do you think of the 4D silhouettes in general? Um, I want to know what you guys actually think. Um, love your comments, guys. Love your fam. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I hope that we can keep going up together as a family. Um, I really do appreciate you guys and stay tuned for more and I'll be doing some giveaways soon and let me know what you want to see given away. I will be doing some more so stay tuned guys. I hope to see you on the next review to come and let me know down in the comments below what you think of this shoe right here. GG Reviews is out.